Hey guys, um, I'm going to do a quick video. Um, some people have been asking me how to make these phone cases for the iPhone. Um, so, I'm going to make a quick tutorial video. I mean, I've got a ton of iPhone cases like these. Um, they're just like these little slip-on things. And I'm pretty sure that that's what these are. They're like these slip-on cases and they just have like a custom printed back on them. Um, I mean, I've got a couple different ones like this plain black one here. I've got this one that I use a lot. I've got the one that's uh, on my phone now. I've got like this softer one by Otterbox that I don't like. Um, but also there's other companies, other phones that do this. Um, I'm going to make this tutorial on how to do it. Um, that way you get the idea. If you have any more specific, specific questions afterwards, just send me a message and I'll help you out with it. Um, but I'm going to do this because I've I've gotten a few different messages on Facebook on people want to do this and they can't figure out how to do it. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make a tutorial video on it. Um, and it's going to be after this particular video here. I'm going to try to paste the two together so you can figure it out. Anyway, okay, um, so let's get to it. Okay, folks, I've been getting a lot of questions on how to make these uh, these particular cases here. Um, I don't make them myself. I just I find you know places on the web on how to make it uh, and I've gotten a couple different messages on here on how to actually do it uh, so I'm gonna show you how I found it how I did it uh, this particular place here is from skinit.com I guess um, and on here it's pretty easy you choose your device you upload your image and then you do the graphics so let's get started I'll just show you how I do this so you guys can do it as well uh, the one that people are asking about primarily are the iPhones, which are really easy to do. Uh, and then the other one was the Evo uh, 3G. Now, I particularly have this one saved, so I'll show you what it looks like here, uh, just so you get an idea. Uh, this is the actual back. Um, I'm sorry, this is the front. Uh, this is the back right here. You can see the logo on there. Uh, but I'm going to show you how uh, to do this so that you can see it. The first thing you do is you, you click up here. Like you're, when you start this, it's going to be blank. Uh, so let's do a blank one, I guess. Uh, we'll start again. So you go, like if you start here, select your devices. Um, obviously, the Evo 3G is right, or 4G, I'm sorry, is right there. And then it's got all these different ones here. If you want to, you know, design your own, you can do that. Um, I guess. So, design my own case. Eh, I don't even see it now. Create my own. It's going to come up that initial graphic again, and it's going to take a second to load it. Um, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to do new, just so you guys can see it. Now, I don't have all the graphics I want. This, As you can see, this is kind of gray. So what I did was I actually just went and I searched... Uh, for a white background, I just typed in the word white, and I hit enter, and then I went to images, and as you can see, there's plenty of white images. Uh, pick a white image, in this case, you, that, you go full side image, right click on the image and hit save picture as, save it to wherever you want, in this case, I'm going to save it to my desktop, go back to the image, now, when you go to do this, you hit image, and then you upload an image. So in this case here, add image. These images I've already uploaded, but I'm going to show you how I did it. From my computer, white, open. Now it's going to save that image, and look, there's the image right there. Now, it's going to show me how to move that image around. You can see this, I'm moving the image around. See, it's in that green box. So I'm just going to make sure it covers the entire thing. Hit enter. Now I want to add another image. In this case, I want to use the um, the up down heart logo. However, uh, that's already uploaded. I'm going to show you how to add the image again. In this case, I'm going to go back here. Um, uh, I know that I have saved this to Chris Starr's Facebook page, so I'm just going to go to his page to show you guys how to download it. Um, I'm sorry it's taking so long. Okay, so here's the image right here. Right click again, save picture as, save it on wherever you want, in this case the desktop, hit save. 
Um, now you'll see if I minimize this that the image is actually saved to my desktop. Okay, so let me go ahead and go back to where we were to make the image. Now I want to upload that image, so I want to add image from my computer. I want to add that image there, hit open, boom, it brought it up, there it is. Now all you got to do is size it. Now if you need to rotate or anything, all the obvious icons are there. Just kind of make it, you know, whatever size you want. Maybe a little smaller. There's that. Now text, I don't particularly like the way they do text here. Um, up, uh, slash, up, slash, down. And then you pick your text. The other website that I was using had like better text, um, better text uh, features. I think it let me use text for my own computer. Um, so then you add the text, and then you can position the text the same way, and you can size it the same way. Hit enter. Now that's pretty much the back. Let's do the front. Now the front I did pretty much the same thing. I went to images, I took the white image, dragged it on top of there, you see it turned it white, um, and then I went, I took a second image, which was the up down again, dragged that over there, and then what I did here, um, obviously you're not going to see it, but I just made it really, really big, is, you know, fairly, you know, pretty much as large as I possibly could, that way when I put it over, like this, you got some of those splotches and red and whatnot. And hit enter. And um, preview. There you go. And then you add that to your cart and you go check out, and it's 20 bucks. So that's pretty much how you do that. If you guys have uh, questions on the other one, uh, I'll show you the other one here real quick because it's um, it's pretty easy. This one here, you see here, image. Uh, I have a couple saved here. Uh, you do it the same way. You add the images here by adding images. Uh, it asks you if you want to upload them. I've already got mine saved because I showed you how to do that. I'll just show you here with my images. Um, oh, I have none, so let me upload some images real quick. Select an image to upload. Uh, we want to upload the white image. And we hit open. And we hit OK. Select an image to upload. Uh, open. Hit OK. There, so now I should have two images here. Yeah, so I've got the two images. You see those there. Um, looks like I actually have them. Okay, so this one here, same way, I, uh, I put the white image on first. I'll take it off just so you get an idea. Okay, so this is like the blank template. Let me add the image, um, my images, the white image, and we'll add that one. Hit OK. So there's the two images. You can move them back and forth. You size them basically the same way. In this case here, we'll make this larger. Now this particular program is a little different. Um, you can actually kind of make it too big. And you can go like all the way to the very edge. Okay, so that's pretty good there. Then if you want to add the text to it, you add your text, up, slash, down, okay. You put that, you size it the same way you did the other image.
and this particular one here I just like because you can change the font um, to whatever font you have on your computer um, so I like that one a little better as far as how that works and you see here you have all the different fonts uh, that you have loaded um, so I use something more like one of these like destructed looking ones I think I use that one there down come You see, there's tons of different ones there. And you'll see it changed the font there. And then just kind of size it. I think that looks pretty good right in there. So that's it. Um, and then the cool thing about this particular one here is you can actually then uh, see what it's going to look like. Um, this one is more expensive. This is like over, over double what the other one is because this is actually a case, whereas the other one is just a skin. Um, but you get an idea of what you can do with that. Uh, I hope this was helpful to everybody. If you do need further help, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out with it. Okay, that's it. Thanks.